the capacity building men to enable young people and women to develop their businesses in any of the agriculture value chain, particularly poultry production. The training, according to the microfinance advisor at GIZ, will help beneficiaries in the management of the grants received in the form of materials. For example, if somebody applies to start a poultry farm to to raise but chickens, then we will buy the day old chicks and we buy feeders and drinkers, uh, vaccines, medication, and feed um, and supply to the applicant, the beneficiary, after they have gone through a process of, of appraisal, application, appraisal, and once we find them eligible, we will provide them with the starter kit. In the case of a poultry farm, they have to, they are responsible for building the, the poultry house. Usman Sonko, managing partner, manages prescription consultancy services, highlighted the role of his agency in the implementation of the project in LRR as the number one implementing partner with GIZ, he added his office is responsible for the effective scrutiny and training of beneficiaries. This particular training is on financial literacy training and then is part of the activities of the one year contract that managers prescription consultancy services have signed with GIZ ECOWAS. And the particular project is on uh, micro enterprise uh, initiative for youth and women being implemented in three regions but managers prescription is concerning LRR where we are reaching up to 75 youth based agri entrepreneurs who might be interested in agricultural value chain specifically poultry vegetable processing and fish processing Mohamed Dabo and Kadi Bajo, both beneficiaries of the Missy Grant, thank GIZ for supporting them in poultry production and building their capacities in financial literacy. They do call on other young people to make the best use of the opportunities at their disposal for employment and income generation. Usman Balde, GRTS News.